Tens of thousands of monsters suddenly gathered at the top of the mountain and instantly surrounded the family at the bottom. However, the door to the only shelter at the bottom of the hill was locked tightly. The people outside kept knocking on the door, but the people inside remained unperturbed. By now, the monsters are hungry and swarming towards the foot of the mountain. If the people inside don't open the steel door, they will be eaten by an army of monsters. At this moment, the monsters are attacking the ground, seeing the woman's period is coming, but the people inside still do not want to help. Jack had no choice but to pick up a crowbar and fight to buy his family some time. But at this critical moment, the man inside finally opened the steel door. The family rushed inside and escaped with their lives. But no one thought that these monsters were dug up by a group of scientists from 10,000 meters underground. 15 years ago, a geological survey company was drilling a well. When the drilling reached 8,000 meters, the field crew suddenly noticed an anomaly in the image of the machine's shaft. They accelerated it down to 9,999 meters and then the drill stopped. They saw a group of unidentified creatures crawling up the drill bit. When they zoomed in on the image, none of the crew had ever seen the object before. Had they drilled too deep and accidentally opened the gates of hell? One of the crew was going to go down the shaft to take a look. But before he could react, a giant bird that looked like a crow attacked him. All of the department staff died at the hands of the monster. At the same time, a large number of giant bird monsters have been spotted outside the windows here at the project site, and the whole site has been overrun by them. The whole exploration base is covered by giant bird monsters, and the bottom of the drilling well is still producing all kinds of unidentified creatures. All the monsters flew around the world, and in no time at all, the city was surrounded by dark clouds. As if summoned by something, they began to attack unarmed humans. Not only could they fly in the sky, but they could also run on the ground, biting people as they saw them, destroying great buildings in major cities with impunity. This is the first time the world has ever seen such a large-scale global attack. Aircraft from all over the world flew in and fired long-range artillery, but nothing could be done to stop these monsters. In a matter of hours, the whole world had slowly fallen, so they had to launch an even more aggressive attack, immediately sending in aircraft carriers and nuclear bombs to fight the monsters. 